1st February 2021, I was poisoned. Yes, you heard me right. But I was poisoned in the most legal way, in such a way that I had no legal remedy at my disposal. And what was that? Let me tell you. Now, on 1st of February 2021, we were just getting out of the pandemic and I had a craving for pizza. So I walked into a nice restaurant in the area where I live and I ordered pizza. I had pizza. Next day, I had such a severe food poisoning that I had to be admitted into a hospital and I had to be taken on saline and whatnot, antibiotics for the next three days and then finally I recovered. It's not that this has happened to me for the first time but this has happened to many of us several times each time you eat in a restaurant or eat each time you eat out. The question to be asked is why? Well, today is food safety day. So I'm not going to say that, hey, happy food safety day to all of you. I'm here to come up with a solution which will solve the employment problem of the biotech industry. At the same time, it will solve this the most legal way of poisoning our Indians. And that is food poisoning. Well, this problem needs to be solved at the grassroots level. And for that, Food Safety and Standards Authority of India, that is FSSAI, needs to have Power needs to have tooth, needs to have food inspectors on ground, needs to have food analysts who can do the analysis. But my question to you is, do you know how many biotech, bioprofessionals we have right now just on Biotechnica? 45 lakh professionals are there. So what if you all take training of food analyst, analyst you take training of food technologist, you take training of becoming a food inspector and you go in and do all of that and we can prevent the next person from falling sick because of stale food, because of bad food. Recently, we had news wherein we saw MDH and other Everest Masale had having the, that uh, food safety problem. At the same time, we saw recently that uh, uh, top restaurants in Hyderabad and Bengaluru are not uh, maintaining the standards and they're storing stale food in their kitchens. So who knows if they're using it also. Why is FSSI failing is because FSSI is not having manpower. And why FSSI is not having manpower? Because there are not enough trained manpower for them. So that is where Biotechnica has decided to come up with a solution to this problem. So that in future, no one else is poisoned in this legal way. And that is where we are starting a three months, almost uh, 90 days training program for food technology, for food analyst, as well as food inspector. All of this combined, our teachers, our, our expert faculty members are going to train all the bioprofessionals, whoever is interested, to learn from it, to become ready for FSSI food analyst exam and food inspector exam. And once you start applying there and you qualify, let me tell you, there is no much competition here as we speak, okay? Maybe after this video, the competition may heat up, I don't know. But right now, there is no much competition. Whoever applies is getting selected and that's what I am told. So FSSI junior analyst exam, you have to write. That generally happens in the month of September or October. Sometimes it gets delayed, so it happens on the next year, January. But more or less in September, October, this exam has been happening for last 10 years. So you can prepare in the next 90 days, write this exam and become a certified food analyst. That way you can work in FMCG industry, you can work in food and grocery industry, you can become a food analyst in, in the lab, you can also become a food inspector and a lot more things can be done. All you need to know is a set of uh, laws related to FSSI and food um, safety and of course you have to learn the nuances of the industry, right? So this is a solution which we are throwing away on Food Safety Day because I believe that if we all come together, all the bioprofessionals of our country come together, then we can save our future generation, our current generation from this most legal way of poisoning Indians and we can also save a lot of time, energy and effort from for our family members as well. So what are you thinking? Click on the link in the description and join us for this food safety, uh, food technology and food inspector course. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.